What's up, y'all? How you doing? I'm Trenton Sanderson. You're tuned into the infamous, the most infamous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we're trying to do right. And we're on the Show Love Challenge. And oh, man, I looked at the calendar. I'm like, dang, it's already the 21st of this month. So we've been showing love like to everybody all the time, everywhere. It's absolutely you know, a, a privilege to be able to know, hey, you know, we have the enthusiasm to be able to go out and share love with people because you never know that person that you might, you know, show that random act of kindness towards, they might be feeling like, you know what, I hope somebody just comes up to me today and just says, hey, I want to meet new friends, which ties into the topic we're about to talk about right now, which is five signs that you are maturing. Yes. I think we should take it back to the basics a little bit, you know, to make ourselves better, other people's lives better, and the world a better place. So the first things first, the first sign that you are maturing, new friends. That's your first sign that you are maturing. All the old friends you used to hang around, you will notice that they will gradually begin to fade away. You will notice that you have a different type of people that you want to be around now. Once upon a time, you used to want, want to hang with Curly. Harry, Larry, and Moe and all them. Now you wanna hang with new people. You wanna hang with people that have your best interests at heart. So you kinda of wean yourself away from people that don't wanna help you with nothing. People that want, don't wanna have your best interests at heart. People that don't serve you. That's the first sign that you're maturing because you'll come around a new different type of people. The next thing you will notice, reason why you're maturing is because you tend to not waste a lot of time like you used to. <laughs> you know, I used to waste so much time as an individual. You know, I would always be doing something that's not really helping me grow or not helping me be productive in the moment versus doing something positive, you know, and that could actually make tomorrow a better day. You always want to be living today, like right now, so that you have a better tomorrow. That's the key to success. That's the key to success. If you can consistently stay in a rhythm of being productive, of making yourself better today, doing things today, giving, acts of kindness, you know, meeting new friends, people that like you, people that like you for who you are and how you think. Tomorrow you have a much richer, a much fuller day. And so you will tend to waste less time when you begin to mature. You know, you will begin to realize that time is an essence and time is very important and you can never get it back. Oh man, it is so hot out here. I always pick the, the hottest locations because of the most energy. <laughs> but at the same time, man, uh, it's, it's always hot in these locations I pick. Um, I remember I was in Miami just recently, man, and it was sweltering down there. And I had some great videos that I wanted to, um, you know, show you all and whatnot. But I ended up, like, forgetting my camera. I don't know how I done it. And when I got down there, I had you know, my cell phone, I was using my cell phone, and I ended up losing my cell phone with all the footage of, in, in Miami that I made. So it was like, what, are you serious? But it was extremely hot down there in Miami. It was way more hotter than it is now, so I can, I can stand it, I guess. But anyway, guys, another sign that you will notice, the third sign that you will notice that you are maturing and becoming a better person is you will have a more clear vision about your life you'll have a better understanding of who you are as an individual and what God put you here for, what your purposes are, what your strength and your abilities are. You know, you just have a better understanding and an overall general perspective of your whole being in this life. You know, your vision will become more clear as to what you need to do, how you need to do it, when you need to do it, you know, the people that you need around you to do it, your vision, your inner vision, your intuition, all that becomes clear. It becomes more clear when you are maturing. So you will definitely notice this if you're a person who wants to mature more. Number four, the next sign you will notice when you are maturing is that your body features will begin to change. I think this is pretty normal. I mean, a lot of people say, you know, you have to grow up in order to show up. You know, you have to like grow up in order for all your four features to come out. Oh, you look like your daddy now. Oh my God, you look so much like your mom. You're growing up. But it simply could just be that they're making themselves better and they're trying to make other people's lives better and they're trying to make the world a better place. That's probably why their features are a little bit more enhanced than they were a year ago. 
See, it's not always about age. It's not always about, you know, how you're growing in age for your body to change. No, you can grow, you can become more mature if you begin to make yourself better on the inside. You begin to eat right, you begin to speak right, you begin to get involved with the right things. That all changes your physique. You know, that changes your body structure. You know, when you think about success, when you think about the greatness of life, the beauty and see God and everything around you, it does something to your inner spirit. And you know, however your spirit it looks is how what is reflected on the outside. So definitely, that's definitely a sign that you will notice. Your body features will begin to dramatically change when you're on a path of maturity. Last but not least, number five. The fifth sign, the last sign that you will notice when you are maturing is that people come to you for help. You remember once upon a time, you used to always raise your hand and ask questions and that never gets old. But it used to be at a higher degree. You know, you used to really try hard to make sure you got the answers, you know, because you wanted to make yourself better, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but when you get to a level of maturity, a certain level of maturity, I'm not sure which part of maturity, but I do know that people will begin to come to you. People will see you as a light. People will begin to spew their issues out to you. People will begin to t ask you questions about stuff that, that's happening in their life that they don't know how to resolve. You know, people look to you for solutions. You know, and that's what it's all about, guys. And if some of you are there trying to start your own YouTube videos from uh, the infamous Living Room Network, guys, go right ahead. Because on this road, this path, you're gonna mature more and more and more. And you're gonna have people come to you just like me. You know, we're gonna come from the outside, looking in, we're gonna ask you questions. And then you'll be the person on the other side who has all the answers to the test. And we're gonna be trying to cheat on your test. It's as simple as that. I hope this message resonated with you guys. I'm Trinus Henderson. You are watching the infamous Living Room Network. Y'all know divine powers are always gonna work for us. Because, you know why? I'm gonna let you guess. Because you know why? You're trying to do right. We're trying to do right. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. In the meantime, I'll see you next time in 24 hours.